I wanted to take today just a couple of minutes to talk to you about time blocking, which is a really simple hack that can help with life work balance. Now, I get life work balance is a really tricky thing and it can feel impossible to get one but i found time blocking makes a big difference so time blocking basically is the idea of you guessed it blocking your time so you decide at this time i'm doing this thing at this time i'm doing this thing but the key to making it work and having an impact on life work balance is to block all your time i don't mean like make sure all of your time is accounted for, but rather think about the things that matter to you and make sure you've blocked time out for them. So that means not just blocking out time for work, but blocking out time for play or family as well. And actually putting those things in your diary. The rest will fall in around it. It's amazing how things will fill in the gaps and so it will be fine. But if you think first to the things that you really want to do, and you block the time out for them, then you will ensure that those things happen. And in terms of life work balance, that means often blocking out time to spend with your family, blocking out time to spend engaging in an activity that you enjoy, that makes you feel good or is good for you. And when we block out our time like this, that's the first part of the battle, because when we prioritise our time in this way and we say, I want to make time for, in my case, climbing, singing, playing with my children, then those things are more likely to happen. But the next step is what you do during those blocks of time. Obviously, you're going to engage with the activity that you've committed to, but it's about really, really engaging with that activity. So if I've blocked out two hours this afternoon to play with my children, that means I am not going to engage with work. My phone goes away. The computer goes away. They are the sole focus of my attention. And any time that my attention wanders, I bring it back to my children. Likewise, if instead I had blocked this afternoon out for work, I'm working. I've decided what I'm going to work on. I turn off my emails, I turn off my phone and I focus right in on that task. This can only work if you really commit to it. And if you let other people know that you're doing it, I am focusing on X, I don't want to be distracted. And you can get into a routine and a rhythm with it. And I'm working hard on this, I would not purport to have it perfectly. But I'm finding if I block out time to climb, if I block out time to sing, if I block out time to play, if I block out time to be a mum, if I block out time to be a wife, and I block out time to work, then I'm able to do the things that really matter to me, that keep me well and keep me connected. And I'm able to do them quite well. It's not perfect, but it's a starting point. And as we're in a break between terms at the moment, this can be a really good moment just to stop and think about what might the rhythm of your week be? When might those regular time blocks be? Are there blocks of time you can dedicate to yourself and wholly engage with things for you? Are there times that you can dedicate to your family and wholly engage with your family? And are there times that you can dedicate to work and really, really focus in on your work and get loads done and then get on with the rest of life. I'd love to hear how you find this, whether you find time blocking and becoming kind of more indistractable and really focusing in on the thing that you're doing helpful. I'm finding it really helpful, but I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning as I go along. So any advice and ideas on making it work better would be gladly appreciated. Okay, take care, bye.